Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, what are they not telling you for uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 2022? We're going to take a look at the, uh, your person that's currently on your mind or the person that you're currently dealing with to see what they're currently hiding and not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean uh, with you. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. This could be with a past person, a present person, um, you know, uh, a partner, an ex, a friend, a family member, co-worker, anybody. Um, yeah, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Um, also keep in mind that this is just a general read. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you, uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, uh, Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with here or thinking of. What is this person not telling Cancer? What are they hiding from Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 2022. The Fool in the Reverse. on the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Fool in the Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. So Aries energy could also be Aquarius. You could be dealing with uh, any of those energies, okay? We have the Three of Swords and the Hermit. Virgo energy could be dealing with the Virgo. Page of Wands in the Reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag. And the Four of Cups. You know, whoever this person is, this person doesn't want anything to do with you because this person's hurt. This person fears that they would get hurt again. So perhaps, you know, someone here offered someone an apology and someone rejected it. Like I said, you could switch the rules if you want. Uh, this could be you. This could be the other person. Yeah, it seems like we have someone here who retreated and basically is... Sort of someone here self-reflecting, introspecting on um, a heartbreak that they've gone through here with you, uh, Cancer. Why is the fool here in the reverse? Uh, this person is not taking another chance on you again. Yeah, so I feel like that's very typical of Cancer if this is you, Cancer. Judgment in the reverse. Uh, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies. Tell me about the wheel. And then the Six of Swords. You know, you know what? Um, like I said, um, Cancer, they're not giving you a chance or that you're not giving this person a chance. You can flip, flip the story if you want. Um, yeah, there's this energy of moving on from this. There's this energy of moving on from this. Three of Swords. You have a ton of swords here. Yeah, so I feel as though, you know, there has been a lot of heartbreak and betrayal here, and I feel like you're trying to heal from this, or that your person's trying to heal from this. Okay, Cancer? Hermit. And the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I really feel like this person's a bit broken. This person's really, really broken by this. This person feels like they lost their sense of self here. Page of Wands. Why is this Page of Wands in the reverse here?
with the three of wands. Yeah, there's no no plans to give this. Yeah, there's no plans to give this another chance again. Um, four of cups. Oop. Right, four of cups. Ten of pentacles. And the sun, Leo energy. I just feel like we have someone here that's moving towards, you know, their own fulfillment and happiness here. There's this energy of definitely cutting this out and closing this out. Or perhaps, you know, could be a karmic cycle closing out here and just going off and having a new beginning. So look at the six of wands in this deck. It looks like a four of wands here. So I feel like there's gonna, there's a separation here. There's a separation here. Yeah. I just could, I just could hear someone saying, yeah, I'm not get. there's no way I'm giving this like another go, yeah, another chance at this, um, or that I'm going to take another chance at this again. Um, let's see. So I feel like this person's hurt. This person feels hurt by you. You've done wrong by this person. And I just feel like this person doesn't want anything to do with you. Like I said, cancer, this could be flipped. It could be you feeling this way, okay? Um, will this person come clean towards cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Will this person come clean towards cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. For January 2022. Okay, we have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. You have the ten of wands and the four of swords. I mean, we have someone here that's really disengaging from this, okay? Um, we have the lovers and the chariot in the reverse, cancer energy. Could be dealing with another cancer here, okay? Gemini energy. We have the king of cups in the reverse. There's your energy right here again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with another cancer. You might have uh, Scorpio, Pisces in your chart, and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, there's this, there's this energy. I mean, there, there are plans of getting away here. But I feel like there's also this energy of, you know, trying to find some sort of control, trying to get back on track. I feel like you're trying to get back on track here, or somebody's trying to get back on track. Um, like I said, you just switch roles if you you want. It could, I'm speaking from, the, from your perspective, you know, of you know, your person, not uh, what they're not telling you, but it could be flipped, okay? It could be flipped. Just keep that in mind. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here. Or the Queen of Wands. Wow. So, You know, I feel like this Queen of Wands and this uh, Pre-Empress is the same energy. I just feel like someone here is really broken by this. Really, really broken by this. Four of Swords. We have the Tower. Aries energy. I mean, we have a feminine energy that's definitely taking a step back. I do feel like this... You know, even though that King of Cups is Cancer energy, I feel like this feminine is you, um, Cancer. All right, the lovers. Why is the lovers here? We have the Seven of Swords. We have someone here that's trying to get away, I feel. We have someone here that's trying to get away. Chariot in the reverse. We have the Three of Swords again. Wow, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of heartbreak here. I feel like both people were mean to each other. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of anger here, a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. The person that was doing all this is this king here, I feel. But like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. King of Cups in the reverse. We have the worlds. 
I mean, this is done. Like I said, I, I feel like I could hear someone saying, yeah, I'm not giving this another ch chance. There is no possible way. King of Swords. We have the Empress here. It's like this energy of, I, I'd rather find someone here who's super, super, super mature or something like that. I mean, there's this energy of definitely someone closing this out or both of you guys are clo closing this out. It just seems like, uh, you know, could it could be a situation where you both are not really good for each other, uh, Cancer. Okay? It's like this energy of someone stealing your heart. Yeah, and sort of stomping on it. Yeah, it's like they swept you off their feet. They swept you off their feet. Someone swept someone off their feet and someone basically, yeah, stole someone's heart and stomped on it. Okay, so um, Cancer, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.